Hey everyone, uh, this is uh, Sukage Wolfis. Uh, I am the uh, first lord of uh, Tsunami Kakor, or village hidden in the tidal wave, or tidal wave hidden village in English. Uh, our land is uh, the land of uh, strong tides, or the land of tides for short. Our, my fictional ninja village in land to which I created is uh, right next to the land of, uh, land of waves which is uh, off the shores on the east coast of uh, the Land of Fire, where the village hidden in the leaf is. Uh, I'm going to be playing some Sam uh, with one of my uh, Tidal Wave ninjas, uh, uh, fellow ninjas. Let's, uh, let's do this. Afterwards, I'm going to be teaching everyone uh, some of the basics after I play a few Sam, so stick around towards the end. You know, how to navigate navigate through the game, especially for those who are new. How to get uh, ninja tools, uh, stuff like that. So stick around towards the end. Yeah, I don't know how to say his uh, name. Uh, this guy right here. He's uh, new. So, what's going on, man? Whatever your name is. Fahat Pits. <laughs> I'll just call him uh, P-E-T-S. Pets. <laughs> All right. Waiting for uh, this guy to uh, start saying. There he is. There's a uh, pet. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call you, man, Pets. He's uh, the newest member of uh, the Tidal Wave uh, Village. Waiting to see if anyone else joins. They might be in, in, already in, uh, in game already. So it's just me and Pat.
see what I'm doing. I'm just waiting for my uh, ultimate jitsu. That's the one with the uh, red circle to uh, refill. Meanwhile, I'm running in circles to stay out away from his attacks. This is a really ba uh, basic technique when uh, playing Sam's. Hopefully you guys can hear me. You also want to keep an eye on your uh, chakra. There you go. Good job. Good job, uh, pets. <laughs> Let's see if we could uh, do a couple, of, a couple more of these. Here we go, so it's uh, Pets and uh, the guy with no name. Which I think both of you guys need to change your name. And see if you could put the uh, our ninja headband symbol in front of your name. getting knocked around there but I survived
pretty good. My, uh, my uh, guild members are pretty strong. How many uh, winning streaks is that? We haven't lost yet. Way to go, Pits. Strongest attack or uh, attack damage. Instead of Pits, I should be calling them Pets. <laughs> pets. a bit of Sam. Let me, uh...
let me do a little bit of a tutorial here. So that was Sam. That's basically how you do that. Um, let's talk about how you get your ranks. Okay. Uh, how to go from uh, academy to tuning, uh, uh, excuse me, academy student, uh, guinning, tuning, and joning. You go click on missions here. Ninja, those are your story. You want to get through that. Roundup missions is very important because you get high rewards. You get very high rewards. So you want to do that. Okay. And the more more you play on the and there's the kind of like a time limit too you could either do team solo or, or a solo, solo battle but you get a lot of high rewards with this one especially the ninja tools oh wait a minute I go to see this is a ninja tool right here okay pretty important so real quick uh, before I do uh, the missions let me uh go missions real quick top right corner shop fortress metal shop on the bottom right the uh, fortress metal I'm about to show you how to get those including how to uh, increase your ninja rank so you have a whole bunch of stuff here basically your fortress uh, traps that you can get and of course uh, buying hero fragments to increase your character's power okay that's fortress metal shop um, heal metal shop uh, I believe I, I'm still a little bit confused on this one I, I believe it's how much you do uh, attack sp special mission or uh, team battles I believe it's how much team battles you do or attack special mission. I'm a little bit confused on that one. So if anyone who's been watching this uh, knows how to specifically get Guild Middle Shop, post it in the comment section. Because I never really did figure it out. But uh, I seem to get more, I notice, when I do special attack mission or team battles. But that's how you get, uh, that's another way to get uh, ninja tools. And uh, speaking of ninja tools, if I can, uh, let's see if I can find it. That's not it. It's not it here. No, it's not it either. Is it here? There we go. No, that's not it either. Let's see if I can find it. I always forget. I always forget which one it is. No, I can't remember. All right, I seem to not be able to remember. But, uh, hmm. Let me let me get back to you because I kind of forgot. <laughs> There's one building here uh, that should have uh, where you can create ninja tools and stuff. I I just can't remember. You know, forgive me, I'm kind of, I'm absent-minded. But one of these buildings where you can create ninja tools. Oh, oh well. Let me go to, uh, missions. So, anyways, how to get fortress medals and raise your, uh, rank on the right corner you see your rank I'm, I'm tier 2 academy student that's the overall 226 uh, positions I'm on I'm in position 74 the more you win the lower the number gets and then you go to the next rank okay so press yes you will want to make sure that you pick the weakest opponent this is my setup here Uh, 300,000, anything below 400,000 I can do. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do it. Now, I should make it to the end, and when I do fight the end bosses, watch how I play, because there's a special technique that I employ. Especially, uh, I've used this technique to, uh, beat guys who are stronger than me. 
So it's pretty effective. I'll show you it towards the very end. Killer B and uh, Hokage and Naruto are my uh, strongest, especially Naruto. You want to use long range to uh, get rid of that guy. Because uh, once he hits you, he takes massive da uh, damage to you. So use a long range attack to uh, get rid of him. Ah, okay, whenever you see, whenever you see a purple bad guy here, there's typically a uh, bottom seal in the, in the middle of it. Okay, do you guys get what I'm saying? There's a seal. Whenever you see a a, a boss, a purple boss, shall we say, or a character, there's typically a seal near it. So what I was trying to do was. As soon as I, I... I knew there was one near it. Right? Go like this and very quickly go back. So that way you don't get hit with the seal. Now, real quick. Um, if you're dealing with... You could go through the entire levels and do that. Uh, and and, and uh, clear the levels what I, is what I'm saying. Or if you're dealing with a really strong opponent. Because that's the only thing that they gave to you. Uh, I like to have at least one person who's a healing top. Mine is Lady Susan, uh, 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 Lady S Sunari. As a, a healing character in one of, in uh, in my squad, so if you're fighting like a really powerful character, uh, you could do this and just go right through it. What you, what you're about to do, so I'll show you that right now. And very quickly, just hit the ultimate jitsu. Like, right here. There you go. You want to very quickly tap on the ultimate jitsu. So that's if you're fighting like a really powerful opponent and you don't want to lose your uh, chakra trying to clear up all the uh, levels and stuff like that. Okay. Meanwhile, your character should have enough uh, chakra, which is the blue bar, to perform their own ultimate jitsu. Because if you fight a really powerful uh, player and you try to clear the entire floor or level, by the time you get to the bosses, you're like out of chakra, most, especially your characters. You guys know what I mean? So that's a quick cheat way to uh, just finish the uh, level and just go straight to the boss quickly. You have to typically uh, defeat one boss level to open up the gate a little bit because each boss level you defeat, the gate opens until it opens completely. You know what I mean? So that's one way, excuse me, that's one way of doing it. But that's how you get guild medals. Uh... There you go, you see? Guild medals. All right. I'm going to do it one more time. This time I'm not going to do that because I want to show you guys a technique that uh, I use. But that's kind of like a little bit of a, a Naruto x Baruto hack, if you will, whenever you're doing a uh, mission attack. Um, or attack mission. Let me go again. And you see, I went up rank. Now I'm 59. Bottom right, 59. Do it again. And I'm still trying to figure out. Uh, there's a there's a um, function here where you could create your own tools and stuff like that. But I just forgot. It's been a while. And you know my my brain just went blank. I typically just buy the tools. I don't really create mines. But you can create your own and stuff like that. But I wanted to show you guys. Anyways, okay. Here's a powerful character. He's a bit too strong, so I'm gonna go next. You want to choose your battle wisely? Uh, okay, I'll take this guy on. He's a bit he's a bit strong, but I'll, I'll take him on. I'm probably going to uh, lose. You got to know uh, who you can fight and who you can't fight depending on power level. Get real familiar with that. Again, anything that's below 400,000 uh, in power, I can take on. Above 400,000 or middle, I, I tend to struggle. No, that's a glitch. I'm not even pressing anything. That, look at that. That's a glitch right there. My game is glitching. Now watch. Watch this. Watch this. You see the purple? Watch the seal. Watch the seal. 
Oh, there's no seal. All right, okay. There's typically a seal there. Okay, there's typically a seal, but it didn't have it. So you saw what I did? I run real quick, and as soon as the guy pops out, I go like this. Because there's typically a seal in front of the, uh, in front of the boss. Of course, it's up to the, uh, to the player to put it there. Most players put their seals in front of their bosses. So that way that the guys that they're fighting can't use their uh, jutsus right away. Now, when you're dealing with low-level no, uh, low uh, enemies, don't use any of your jutsus. Don't waste your chakra. A lot of beginner players use their, their chakra, and by the time you get to the end, you got no chakra. You can't even do your ultimate jutsu. Okay, watch this. See, there's a seal here. I know that there's a seal. There's got to be. This guy's pretty strong. I'm just going to go ahead and use my jutsu. Also, get real familiar. You see what I'm saying? It opens up. Get real familiar of how long it takes you to fulfill your uh, jutsu. So this guy is pretty strong. Uh, I really don't want to cheat this way because I wanted to show you guys uh, uh, another technique. But because this guy is really strong and this is the only one that they gave me, I really don't want to mess around. So uh, my guys still have some chakra left and I'm, they can perform their uh, ultimate jitsu. So I'm just going to... It takes me about, uh, what, 50, 60 seconds? About 60 seconds to uh, fill up my ultimate jitsu, which is the top right with the red, with the red circle. The little red dot. With the Japanese symbol in the middle of it. It's the uh, purple jitsu that's now filling up. And... There you go. So let's do it. Remember, you go real quick and you just keep on tapping the ultimate jitsu. That, that's just the best that you can do. Let's do it. You see? Because uh, if you do that, most of your guys are going to have their ultimate jitsu uh, enough chakra. But if I was to fight, if I was to go through the entire floor, by the time I get to the bosses, if I make it, no one has enough chakra to do the ultimate jitsu. I'm talking about the the NPCs in my in my squad. So there you go. That's how you do it. That's, what, that's exactly what I was talking about. I just if if you guys didn't notice, I just defeated a guy that was like way more powerful than me. Of course, I'm playing his NPCs, uh, controlled characters. Um, but uh, that's how you do it. You can defeat someone who's more powerful than you if you uh, put a little. It, it's mostly about power. Don't get me wrong, but there's a little bit of strategy and a little bit of technique to maximize your, your um, to increase the chances of you succeeding, even defeating someone who's a little bit stronger than you. Let me go ahead and do that again. I'm gonna do it one more time. But that was a perfect example right there. You saw my characters use their ultimate jitsu after I used mine because it was like two of them that I missed. Typically, I hit them all in one swoop, but there was two that I missed, but that's all right. My, my uh, squads had, I knew they had enough chakra to do their ultimate jitsus. Let's do it again. You see I'm 44 in rank now. Okay, this one's better. This one I can show you guys this other technique. This is if you wanna if you wanna clear the entire floor to gain more points, especially uh, fortress metal points and uh, other rewards as well by clearing out the entire stage. One of my guys just died. That stinks.
I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm kind of glitching a little bit. I'm not sure why. Okay, I gotta finish this level. A little bit of a hand to hand to get you here. Finish this. So far, so good. Okay, these ones are a little bit tough because they typically have traps. The one that uh, throw you off. So you, I like to use something that jumps. I like to have a character that jumps like this. Just like that. If I could set up any other trap. I'm gonna have to use my ultimate gift here. Oh, you see the, the seal? I just walked right into it. I got a knucklehead. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Quick. One of my guys should be using their ultimate gift here. My guys are not using their ultimate gift here. I'm waiting for him to use his ultimate gift and not me. That was... <laughs> I got lucky there. So you see that seal that we walked right into that? You gotta be careful. Whenever you see a boss, most of the time, because it's up to the players to put it there. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. I'm not gonna make it. I think I can do it. Ah, oh, didn't make it in time. But um, you, you, when you see when you see those uh, uh purple squares, that's the, one of the bosses, one of the uh, characters of the player. You're going to have a seal that's in front of it. It's a very basic strategy when you uh, develop. I'll, I'll do a video and uh, how to have a basic uh, uh, to set up your fortress because you have a function here. I'll show you right now your fortress. Oops. Uh, fortress right here. Fortress on the bottom right. Or so this is your fortress. And uh, I'll do like another video where you know this is the players who attack you and you can set up your terrain, your traps, and who you know. All that, all that good stuff. I'll do another video on that. But typically, they put their seals in front of their uh, purple square. Your your main characters. So when you come near the square, uh, your your character will pop out. But your enemy, if they walk over the seal, will can't use any of their special jitsus for a little bit. So it's a really basic technique. It's very very effective uh, defensively. So as soon as I like to move just as close enough to uh, activate the uh, enemy character, but then walk away and then let my characters run over the seal. And I will just kind of hang back until the seal is uh, finished. And then I will go in and attack. Typically, while I'm waiting, I use like a long range uh, jitsu type. I haven't really demonstrated that there, unfortunately. But um, anyways, um, let me see if I could... Uh I'm going to go uh, one more time. 
And once I figure out how to, uh, man, I just can't remember. <laughs> There's a function here where you can create your own uh, ninja tools by gathering materials. And uh, man, my, my mind just went blank on that one. So I'll do a separate video on that. But uh, I've already shown you guys how to do, um, yeah, I'll do a separate video once I, I, I remember. You know, brain fart, you know, just my mind went blank. I apologize for that. But I showed you guys already how to, uh, like I said, this one I'm not 100% certain, but it's a surprise attack mission and team battles. I seem to gain a lot of these uh, guild metal shop. But for this one, it's the uh, attack mission, the fortress, uh, fortress metal. Okay, so that's right here, mission and attack mission. That's this right here. That's how you get that. And of course, the the tools for, with the fortress metal. As much as you, uh, the more you get, you can get the tools here. All right. Then you have special shop. You could use your diamonds, but then, you know, that's what you have to pay. And then you have, uh, you get that from a uh, mission, roundup mission points. That's where you get that here. You play team battle and, or solo battle, either or. And you could get special tools here as well, amongst other things. Okay. So that's how you get that. These purple frogs are important because you could actually level up your uh, your characters. I'll show you how to do that real quick since I'm doing this. Enhanced ninja card. This is very important. This is to make your uh, ninja card stronger. So I'll just pick one at random. Uh, yeah, I'll just uh, I'll just do this one. Boom, sixty. See if I can pick another one here. Um, okay, evolve ninja cards. Boom. That's how you evolve to achieve the next level. Okay, so enhance ninja cards and evolve ninja cards. Whenever you fill up a star. Like uh, with this one, I'll sh let's see. I'll sh okay, with this one. Hold on, let me get let me get a, let me get a good example. Real quick. Okay, this one. This one's a good example. You see, this one, two, three, four, five stars. I want to fill the sixth star. So I do this. Then I go after I do that. Then I go to evolve ninja cards. There it is. Now, because I filled it up, now I and I have materials. This is the materials that I have. I'll, I'll go to that real quick. These are the materials. Then I have enough uh, mana. I, I guess that's what that is. Boom. Do it. Now I filled up the the last star. You see? There you go. And typically you have to fill up, you can fill it up one more time. Let's see if I could find it real quick. Hmm. Well, anyways, and then there's that. Okay, let's go synthi synthesize jitsu. That's combining jitsu. Let me see if I could get a good example here. Hmm. Sure, why not? You see these frogs? Boom. Boom. Yes. Let's do it. Boom. I just achieved the next level. So from level 6 to level 7. And my power, my critical and my power increases. That's how you do that. Right. So that's synth synthesized jitsu. Ninja cards. You see the bottom left? That's how many cards you have. That, that on on the left, that's how many cards you let uh, have. On the right, uh, 840 is how much I have. 850 is how much I have space. So out of a uh, 840, I have uh, 10 space available. To increase, when you have a whole bunch of cards, 
to increase, you just press that, and you have to use your uh, rubies to increase uh, space. That's all. Okay. Batch evolved. Let me see here. Um, hmm. Let's pick this. Batch Evolve turns them, I believe, turns them into materials. Alright, so that's how you do that. Um, that's about it. But enhanced cards, you're going to get real familiar with this one. See if I can do another one real quick. Um, let's see. See if I can do this. Okay, here's another one. Boom. Filled it up. Once you fill it all the way up. Now we go to Evolved Ninja cards. There it is. And I got the materials. And I have the mana. to do it. And there you go. So once you get Ninja Tools, and again, I'll do another video because I can't remember for the life of me. Let me go one by one here. This one? No, that's not it. This one. Function this. So this one. Monument. Nope. I'll save that video for another time. So just go through it real quick. I can't remember, guys. I'll, like I said, I'll do that to, for another video. Uh, how to create your own uh, ninja tools. <laughs> oh, man. That's embarrassing. I just can't remember. Damn, that's frustrating. Ah! Anyways, so that's some some of the basics. I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to go one more attack mission. Because I, I didn't really get to show you guys that technique that I was wanting to show you. I want to finish it off with that. My brain is still stuck with uh, the, the function uh, where you can create your own ninja tools. Your own, you can customize your own ninja tools. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, do, I'll save that for another video. But see, I don't remember it because I barely don't uh, use it. I typically just uh, get my own, uh, buy my own uh, ninja tools. You know what I mean? This one's pretty weak. We haven't come across a seal yet. And my 
the guys are failing. Huh? heal real quick this is why i always i like to have a healer on my squad like uh, lady sonati let's go ahead and heal real quick mm. see there's a seal and the player placed it on the wrong spot see his square was here so he should have put it like somewhere around here. Okay, so that's the player's fault. I knew there was a seal here. Damn it, again, uh, the game doesn't come with an automatic seal. The player has to put it there, you know what I mean? You see that? You saw what I did? That's how you do that. See, while everyone has a seal now, I don't have a seal. You see that? That's how you do it. Now he's gonna resurrect because he has a, res a resurrection now. Don't uh... So that's a bit tricky. But you saw what I did? There was a seal here, and I I knew there was gonna be a, a boss, and I went like this. Boom, and I turned around. Uh, unfortunately, two guys got wiped out, but there's another seal here. You see that? I want to show you this. Uh, maybe this video is just about a seal tutorial. <laughs> because I wanted to show you how I finished the bosses, but there's going to be a seal somewhere in front of me. Okay, watch. Ah, right into a so far, no seal has been up. Ooh. Well, I just died. Well, anyways, is it, you see what I'm saying? There was no seal there. So this is kind of an amateur player. To really be effective, he should have had a seal right in front of him. Most players have it. But uh, lately, I've been coming across players who didn't put their seal in front of their square. Um, maybe it was just this video. But, you know, when I play, it's they mostly have a seal right in front of the purple square. So you just... You, the seal activates, but it gives you just a second to basically run out of its uh, radius to where it affects anyone within that radius to seal them. You guys know what I'm talking about? So if you, if you play back the video of that seal that was in front of me, you saw how I ran right out of its radius before it was activated, and you just let your players go, because they're gonna go anyways, because the the main, the, the boss character is gonna pop out and they're gonna attack whatever's in front of it automatically. You can't control that. But at the very least, you don't have a seal and you could use your jitsu. You see what I'm saying? So. I'll go one more because I wanted to show you that uh, I got my butt kicked there. But uh, when I'm talking and I'm trying to teach and I'm playing, that's a little bit more difficult, you know, to uh, focus. But let me focus on this one. I wanted to show you guys the other way I finish off bosses. I, I showed you the one way, but I want to show you the other way. Especially when you have a long range uh, a jitsu guy like mine. Okay, this one should be real easy. Is about a hundred thousand in power. This this will be a part one. I'll do a part two, and it'll be about uh, how to uh, wow, she already died, huh? how to create your own ninja tools, or you know, and it'll be like a short video. Whenever you have an open space like this, you don't run down the middle, you run to the side like this. I already have two guys with me, so I'm gonna use my ultimate jitsu. Excuse me, uh, yeah, two more guys. There's a seal there, you see that? There's two seals here, and his square was, what, right over here someplace? But for some reason, they didn't run over it. Anyways. I just wanna go ahead and use my ultimate jitsu because uh, I, I lost my heal. 
My healer is actually a Sonata is my weakest one. Sonati got a back hit. See a seal right there and I walked right into it. But I activated my ultimate gypsy before it happened. You saw that? I, I, uh, that, that was a tight space and I couldn't run from... I'm just going to let it go automatic. I don't know. Okay, there we go. It was a tight space so I couldn't run from it. So I very quickly used my ultimate uh, jitsu before the seal activated... Uh, and hit me with it. You saw what I did? So, that's another way of doing it. You gotta be quick with that, though. I've been playing for a while. Oh, oh dear, dear lord. Anyways, never run up the middle. Never run up the middle. Alright. Let me wait until my ultimate jitsu heals. I'm gonna see it. Let me see if I could do my little special trick here. This. Watch this. Ah, okay, that's fine. Okay, now typically what happens is I run around in circles and I get all four guys to chase me. And once I get all four guys to chase me, I kind of tripped up because uh, one of their characters had a uh, long range jitsu and he hit me, tripping me up. But um, uh, I had to use my jitsu like real quick before they start quote unquote juggling me. For those of you who are experienced gamers, you, you know what that means. Um, it's when they keep on attacking, you keep flying into the air and you can't defend yourself, you know, that type of deal. But uh, so besides that little trip up, if you saw what I was doing, I typically run around in circles and I make sure this is so when you use your ultimate jitsu, you, you finish everyone off and not miss anybody. Because sometimes it happens. You use ultimate jitsu, and of the four enemies, you just get one, and the three of them didn't get hit. So what I was trying to show you was you run around in circles, and you get the four guys uh, chasing you. And that was almost perfect, too, except for that uh, Sasuke Wandering Ninja type uh, that had that long range. And uh, I turn around quickly, and boom, use my jitsu, and all four of them get wiped out just like that. So that way I don't miss them. Okay? So that was perfect. I, I think I'll leave that video uh, uh, right here. So there you go. Not 100% perfect, but uh, takes practice. You, you sometimes you win some, you lose some, but this is to increase the probability of you winning. And as you saw earlier, I defeated a, a enemy uh, base with characters, uh, player uh, uh, characters that were much more powerful than me, uh, because I used my ultimate jitsu right off the bat. And instead of going through the entire floor and wasting my chakra and my NPC's chakra. Uh, I, you know, I just go right through it with my Lady Sonate, uh, with her healing type, and, uh, I just hit them with my ultimate jitsu. I missed two, but that's okay, because my other NPCs had their ultimate jitsus ready to go, and, uh, that's, so that was perfect. All right. Until then, until next time, this is, uh, Sukage Wolfus. Uh, let me show you my guild real quick for those of you who want to join. Tidal Wave, World uh, Region Worldwide. Although I kind of want to put, I'm not sure if I want to put Worldwide. Worldwide. I want to put it USA. Yeah, US. There we go. That's better. So, uh, Tidal Wave, uh, U.S. Should I leave it worldwide? No, I'm going to leave it U.S. Uh, region U.S. And, uh, there you go. Uh, let me show you my, uh, guild description real quick. USA Village, Tsunami, uh, Tsunami Kakor, Nosato, which is Japanese for Tidal Wave Hidden Village. Current Tsukage, Lord Second Rui. First Sukage, that's me. Land Nation, Land of Tides, Land Symbol. That's the symbol that goes into my Sukage uh, hat. 
like this Japanese symbol that's on the Hokage half from the Leaf Village and all the other uh, five major nations. Head symbol, where the ninja, uh, uh, the, the symbol of the tidal wave. Sanins have yet to be determined. And uh, there you go. All right. This is uh, Sukage signing off.